Hey guys, so I forgot to record an intro, but welcome to my vlog about flying to BC and also my house tour for where I've been staying. Okay, so this is what the process of packing up your entire life from 22 years looks like. But yeah, so I am leaving in, I think it's like 3.30, so... We'll be driving to Halifax in like 10 hours, if that. Don't mind the banging. Dad's doing renovations. And so, yeah, we'll see what this looks like in a few more hours. It's really late. It's so early. So I'm not going to talk very loud. But here we go. But head off to the airport. <laughs> Hey everyone! So, I have now been living in BC for about a week, um, and I'm going to try and do this a little bit more often. We'll see how it goes. I wasn't really able to do videos during my BA, but given that I'm living across the country from where most of you are that would be watching these, as far as I know, um, I thought I'd try and do them a little bit more often. So, first off, I'm going to give you a little tour of where I've been living for the past week and where I'll be living for this upcoming week um, until I'm able to move into the actual room that I'm renting. I thought I'd start outside. So I'm living in this trailer and this can be closed during the night. I close and lock it, but I like leaving it open just for the screen during the day. So let's go on inside. So, this is what you see when you walk inside. Oh, uh, no, it's not too dark. So, to my right is where I sleep. So, that's my bed. And there's no point in me unpacking, seeing as I'm only living here for a little bit. So, most of my stuff is still in my suitcases, which I keep on this couch thing. Um, that's my little kitchen to the left. The dishes are clean. Uh, I just did them this morning, so they're still drying. And this is where I... This is actually where I spend the majority of my time. Except I discovered that... Um, oh, this, this is the... Uh, I guess dining room, for lack of a better word. Um, this is where I spend the majority of my time. Although I discovered that I like sitting in this corner. Obviously, that's where my laptop is. But it's also the spot that has the worst internet that I spend the most of my time in. So that's probably going to have to change. The best is sitting on my bed. So I'll probably switch to doing more work on my bed. But I learned during the summer that I like working at a desk. So we'll see. And I keep my laptop, my printer over here. But again, because of the internet thing. And I, I discovered last night when I was setting it up that I actually need to move the printer and my laptop over onto my bed in order to have enough signal for it to work properly. Um, and then, so this is the fridge. 
that's the little note that they left when I moved in. Um, this is a little bunk bed section, but, but I don't really use it except for to store extra stuff. So boxes and toilet paper, and a fan, stuff for my printer, um, bags, and this sheet. Um, one of the ladies here gave me so that I can cover this window at night because the blind doesn't work. Um, the last person who lived in here broke it, which as you can kind of tell from looking around, it's a very old, um, little trailer. So it wasn't that big of a deal, but there's no blind. So I hang that up at night. And then in here is the bathroom. You can, I'm not going to bring you all the way in because it's not that big, but yeah, place for storing towels and little vanity, uh, store soaps and stuff, towel, and a little shower and toilet. But yeah, let's close the door again because I do my best to keep flies out of here. So I do everything in my power to get rid of that, but I really don't like it when they get in the bathroom because they just don't like to leave because it's small and they get stuck. Um, but yeah, so this is where I'm living and I'll do another video sometime, uh, probably two to three weeks from now to show you the, um, uh, actual apartment that I'm living in. Oh, wait. I just remembered there's one more thing that is outside that you guys haven't seen. One second. Let's see. Oh, yeah. So you're going to see a little bit more of the property. But so this is a quite a large property that I'm living on. It's a cow farm. So there aren't any cows that you can see right now, but making sure that there we go. Here, this. So, for those of you who don't know, I'm living about a five minute drive from a Trinity Western, and this is my little car that I bought. It's quite old, but it runs really well. Um, haven't had any issues, I've driven like I think four or five times since I got it. Um, gotten, I need practice following directions, but it hasn't quit on me when I went the wrong way. So yeah, this is my little car. And that's the cow pasture behind it. That's where I'm living for the next week or so and where I've been living this past week. And yeah. Ooh. I'm still getting used to how the light works because the lighting is different than when I filmed in Korea just because of where the windows are and it can be kind of complicated so make sure that you're not just getting white because that just doesn't work but yeah we will see y'all later <laughs>